What's up? Hey everybody out there on YouTube. We're out here to do some field herping at George L. Smith State Park. My buddy Adam. We're gonna see if we can Slip find bros. Yeah. We're gonna see if we can find some gopher tortoises for sure. May get super lucky and even see the federally endangered eastern indigo snake. It is possible we'll see one. You never know. But it's a beautiful place. We have our beautiful cypress pond out here and some nice sand hill habitat. All right, let's go. Check it out, it is egg laying season. And this is a big soft shell turtle. Look at the size of her. Huge. God, her eyes are so cool. Look how big she is. Ooh, look at her puffing up. Oh my goodness. Don't mess with me. They had this super cool, look how it's kind of like soft, leathery shell. And they have, watch out, she'll bite you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you see they have, she has like that little uh, kind of snorkel nose, like a little piggy nose. So these guys, they don't look like they have much of a beak, but they definitely do. I don't want to mess with her too much, because I know she's up here lay, looking for a place to lay her egg. Yeah, she definitely. But these guys are awesome, built for swimming, huge, big paddle feet. And they have some really sharp claws. Man, super cool to see one of these up big female looking for a spot to lay her eggs up here on the sand hill really close to her gopher tortoise hole this is kind of the environment around yeah it's a nice gopher tortoise hole right over there i wonder if she's coming from that little pond over yeah, there she's coming from that lake but she's crawled all the way up from over here and she's looking for a nice spot that won't flood to keep her to lay her eggs awesome Oh my goodness. That's a good omen. Head. Good I know. right out the gate, guys. Well, we've come across our first gopher tortoise. This is our state reptile here in Georgia. Check it out. You see him down in that burrow? I don't know yet. We gotta get the. Yeah, I got it. Very possible that's a big female in there. This is her burrow. She's. Oh, I got a bug in my mouth. So we're not gonna mess with her too much we're gonna not touch her because these guys are protected by the state of georgia they are threatened due to habitat loss but what a cool animal these guys are keystone species and uh they really are important because this is a fire habitat they make these holes for other animals to live in so everything from rattlesnakes to small mammals to amphibians will live in this hole that hole will go down 30 feet it'll actually get down to the water table so they can actually get something to drink down there. All right, guys, we're out here looking. This is beautiful longleaf pine tree, wire grass, sand hill habitat. This is the home gopher tortoises, indigo snakes, eastern diamondback, rattlesnake, many, many other species that are iconic reptile and amphibian species here in the southeast coastal plain. See super open canopy. This is what you want. Look at all this like cool plant life. You got all kind of neat little different plants that grow in here that these tortoises, deer, turkey, quail, they're all gonna eat all this stuff. All these cool little shrubs. And that supports all the wildlife. No luck yet on snakes. Sometimes stuff in the heat of the day will be hanging out in these shady areas. Little patches of thick stuff. Hard to see them in there though, in that dappled light. Their camouflage works especially well in that kind of lighting. I 
we're gonna turn the camera off so we don't drain too much battery. We're gonna check in periodically, kind of show you this habitat and let you see what this is about. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see a fence lizard right there. There's a race runner over there. All right, Aiden, I'm gonna show you where I show you right where it is. All right. He is, oops, he is right underneath my stick. Oh, I see it. Oh, no, it's going. You see him run? See if I can catch this fence lizard. Oh, nope. up too high. Oh. <laughs> Flipped this log, found some cool beetle larvae. These guys are eating the wood, breaking it back down into usable soil. Pretty gnarly. That's pretty cool. We're gonna cover them back up. All right, we've got something. Cool, it's Eastern Fence Lizard. Look how cute he is. Guys are so hard to catch, man. I can't believe I caught him. Check him out, his his underside. I can see it in the sun. Look at that blue on that black. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It's like emerald. And then they got some on the side too. Look how crazy that looks. It's amazing. These guys are cool. And they have these like really cool like keeled scales. I don't know if you can see that. They're like really rough feeling. They look just like pine bark. Oh my God. Hey, let me... Oh my God, that feels so weird. <laughs> hey, little buddy. Yeah, they're just gorgeous, cool little lizards. And he's regenerated his tail. You can see where he had lost his tail before. Mm -hmm. And this is a male. I can tell. You can oh, yeah, see these... his hemipene bulge. Oh. And then that blue, the males have more of the blue for, for flashing for females and territory display. Makes sense. So cool. We'll let him go back in here where he was. Hey, I'm going to try to catch a fence lizard. You got it. Yeah. There it is. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta be a female. Female, oh. see? No blue. Hey, baby. Yeah, its scales aren't, oh no, I feel the scale. Oh. Yeah. But not as much blue. Yeah. You can see its tail is a little bit, like it's, it, you, the other one had its tail growing in. But this one is still got I hadn't her. lost her yeah. tail. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put you back where you, where I found you. Off they go. Yeah. Into the bush. Nice. Keep paddling and just keep talking while you're doing it. <laughs> Alright, we switched out to kayaking to see what we can find out here. Alright, my big spot, American alligator. Let's go. Big yellow belly slider. If y'all could see him on that log. In he goes. Beautiful cypress swamp. Like these awesome cypress trees. Yeah, he saw us coming. He wasn't gonna let us get close. Oh, going in the water. Dag nabbit. Uh, they knew we were coming. That three turtles. <laughs> Since we've been in the water. You can really get appreciation for the, the aquatic life once you get in the boat. Oh yeah, man. This is awesome. Stoic captain of the boat, S.S. Sliv. Sliv the Slithery rider. Slithery steering and slithering. Steering. I thought I'd let Aiden come up here because he can probably get up there easier than us. Yeah. It's like four of them. Yeah, we have a bunch of turtles. On the log. One just got down, but there's two. We got some nice little yellow belly sliders basking. Don't know if you can see them. Right there. Two big females. There goes one. 
Oh, it's their little foot sticking out. It's a fun bathing. It's like the Malibu for turtles in the swamp. Aiden's Aiden, got one over here on the log. That's oh, a really pretty one, too. Oh, I think he sees us. Oh, no, he's good. No way we can catch that one. Just passing by, and we happen to pass by an offspring nest. Listen to that, she's telling me to leave her alone. No, she's actually probably calling her partner. Guys, thank you for coming with us on our trip to George L. Smith State Park. We had a good time, saw some turtles, no snakes, but that's life. You don't see something every time. But join us next time for our next adventure here or at the house. We'll see you next time. See you next time.